This is definitely a, a Disney type story that, that we're living this year. I've never been around anything like this. Even athletics director Wood Selig is a little surprised the Old Dominion football team is headed to a bowl game given the team lost five of its first six games. If it was a heavyweight fight, we were on the mat and the ref was counting it out and it almost hit 10 and we got up off the mat and uh, ran off five straight games. Detroit, Mobile, Alabama, and Boca Raton were potential bowl spots before ODU received the invite to the Myrtle Beach Bowl. That was the, the bowl of choice. Dr. Selig hopes anywhere from 7,500 to 10,000 ODU fans make the five-hour drive. I really think that's the one bowl that, that our fans can really mobilize and show the country the type of support that ODU football generates. Not much of Monarch Nation can make the trip when Old Dominion last made a bowl game five years ago. Monarchs beat Eastern Michigan in the Bahamas Bowl that year. This time around, Coach Ricky Ronnie's team is set to take on 6 and 6 Tulsa, a matchup that could mean more eyes on ODU this time around. Playing Tulsa, a team from Oklahoma, you might get more of a national audience. It's not going to be a regional game that might just draw a regional viewership. Hopefully we get a national viewership. Having oh. not played in 2020, uh, having started one and six in 2021, and then to reel off five consecutive wins with a young team, a coach who'd been 10 consecutive bowl games at Penn State, at Vanderbilt, at other stops, making it 11 now. That's a story that ESPN loves to tell. Back in a bowl game for just the second time in school history. To me, I think it speaks to ODU football is, is relevant. Uh, we're, we're much more relevant now than we have been for many, many years. And Dr. Selig is hoping a Disney-type season has a fairy tale ending. In Norfolk, Nathan Epstein for the Sport Track.